Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. The project we're going to do today is something else from um, the new catalogue by Stampin' Up. I'm going to just show you where this is. This is on page 158 and it's these boxes here. Now I have to say they don't look very exciting in the catalogue um, but I am just going to show you how gorgeous they are. You can fill them with things and I don't know what I was expecting when they came but I was thrilled when what I got was boxes that you can do this with. And they're just so gorgeous. They're going to be great for putting food gifts in, but all sorts of gifting. So this is how they come in a pack. And you get eight for £6.25. So very good price. And each one comes like this with its own sleeve. Now, I can't tell you how good quality these are. You just need to fold it in both directions. The folds are already there. The folds are already done for you. And you get this really strong sleeve that goes over the top. Then we have our box. Now, you could stamp on this. Um, and if you want to see how that's done, this is the same material as our gorgeous craft boxes. Um, so if you go searching back on my... Um, on my blog you can actually see um, some examples of how that's done when it's actually stamped direct onto the box um, and they look beautiful stamped but all you're going to do is you're going to put the side pieces in first and then that piece there and then you're just going to gently press that piece in and that's your box made you can cover on the inside if you like, um, or you can just leave that like that and and um, and you know put your goodies in there that you're going to do. But I'm going to show you how to decorate this box. So the paper I'm going to use is called Gingham Garden, um, and is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to flip those over and so you can see the other side. So these come as 12 by 12 sheets. Are you going ooh? I'm certainly going ooh. I'm going to buy my weight in Gingham Garden designer paper I think it's beautiful so we're going to use that and in my other um, example I used the um, the pink gingham there but today I'm going to use the blue one that's diagonal okay so I've just cut four pieces of this very easy uh, two at six inches by one and three quarters and two at um, two and one eighth inch by one and three quarters and I'm just going to glue those on the outside and I like my Tombow as you know because we can just wiggle that and get it right in place now on my other one I did daub around the edge um, using crumb cake to give a little bit more of a vintage look on it um, but today just for speed with the video I'm just going to do that without, and also it gives a it gives a crisper kind of finish to it. It's a slightly different look. Okay, and then we're going to put these end pieces on. Now, in the um, catalogue, uh, one of the things that's shown is with golf balls and golf tees put in there with some nesting, so it could make a good man gift box as well as a lady but I think what who anybody who gets this box is just gonna love it okay so there's our, our basic um, cover pieces on there so I'm now going to slide on my outer and let me just get this there is a right and a wrong way because it's not exactly square so let me sure I've got a I've got the right bits in the right place here we go I'm making this look a lot harder than it is, it really isn't. There you go. So you get a nice tight fit, um, so you're, nothing's, going to, nothing's going to fall out. So looks gorgeous already, but we're going to make it look prettier with a little belly band. Now to do the belly band, I decided the other colour I'm going to use on this is the new uh, Strawberry Slush. So um, the colour of this paper is Island Indigo. So this is going to be a zingy looking box because I want those two bright colours together. Right, I've just brought in my uh, Wisp of White piece, which is 10 and a half inches by about an inch. Um, I'm going to trim that afterwards anyway. And I'm inking this up with my um, Strawberry Slush ink. 
And I'm just trying to look around the camera a little bit to see if I can get this straight on there, more or less. Just try and line that up again, more or less. Get it straight. There we go, that'll be fine. Okay. So, let's take that piece away. And I'm just going to uh, attach that first of all with some Tombow. So I'm going to bring the box back in now and we're going to put on the belly band. Now you can score in advance. Um, I'm actually putting the, the bit where the join is on the top because we're just going to cover that up um, just a little bit. Um, and you can score these in advance, but I always find it is much easier just to kind of offer it up to where you want that to be and give a little pinch. And don't go too tight because you need to be able to slide this on and off to get the goodies out. So we don't want it so tight that you can't actually do that. So I'm just lining that up. And we'll put that together with a little bit of Tombow. And then we're, I'm going to do some um, decoration stick on the top, so we'll do that now. So the stamp set, I think, goes absolutely perfectly um, with this uh, project, is Creatively Yours. It's got some really good kitchen ones, so deliciously made for you, handmade, um, and from the kitchen off, which is what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use all three of those, and I'm going to stamp... Um, a couple of these in Island Indigo. That's from the kitchen off. And whoops, that's off the edge. And handmade. I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but with this handmade one, you can actually use your um, oval um, punch just to get that perfect curve. So you don't actually have to um, hand cut that one. I always used to hand cut that. And I'm going to punch that one out with a large oval. And then we're going to, with the strawberry slush again, I'm going to stamp deliciously made for you and punch that one out. And then we're going to have some scallop ovals layer these up and one in strawberry slush okay and now I'm going to put these together it's that one on its own that's from the kitchen of All right Elizabeth One there and and made there, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and line that one up like that. So I like that that kind of effect on those. So I'll just put those to one side. Right to make the bow that goes on the top here. Um, this is actually stamped again. So I've pre-stamped some in Island Indigo. And what you need, I'm, I'm doing with mine about three uh, little rows there. That's the width I'm going for. And this is, tell you the length, about five and a half inches um, of Whisper White. I'm just going to cut that out. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is to join these in the middle. So a little bit of glue at the bottom there. And they're going to join. And I'm not worried about those little white bits in the middle because we're going to cover those up. So we'll just one on there. There we go. And a little bit there. And that's going to be the piece that actually makes our bow. Then I'm going to take another piece, here's 
this one I did earlier. And this is going to be my tails for my bow. So I've cut that in, cut a little piece off, and I'm just snipping. You can do that with a square punch if that's how you find it easier. I just like to snip up from the bottom into the middle, and it gets quite an even look. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue, a little bit too much glue, and pop that on there. And then the final bit to make that look a bit neater still is to take some of the piece that we had left over there with just two little stripes on it. Don't need very much. And we're going to wind that around and glue that at the back. So I'll just snip the amount that I need. And then just pop and make that neat. I'm going to pop my fingers inside and give that little bit more of a, a bow look to it. So we're all ready to go. So final thing, I'm just going to put the belly band on. Again I'm just going to glue, remember not to go too tight so that you can still slide it off. And I'm gluing that at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> I don't think I folded the uh, folded it tightly. Let's just go and do that again. Okay. So the next bit we're going to do is to actually assemble it all. So first we're going to stick the belly band on, a um, little bit of glue, and I'm going to pop that on. Hold that just for a moment till that glue's stuck. I want that to be strong. Um, and then we're going to take our bow and I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals just to pop that up just a little bit. And do you remember we've got the join there? I'm going to put that across over the top of that join. Is that cute? Okay. Um, and then I have, a, I have some clips here. Aren't they sweet? Now these are the um, Essentials Hardware's clip and um, we've got one with an arrow, one with, my fingers are all sticky, um, one with um, a little paper clip and I believe there's a third one, there's a little and there as well, ampersand there and I'm going to put my clip on and I'm going to clip those there. How cute is that with that little paper clip? And then I'm going to put my deliciously made for you on there. And just pop that on the top. So there you go. I, I just think this is a beautiful way of presenting gifts and a lovely new product from Stampin' Up. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Come back soon to Elizabeth's Craft Room for more. Thank <laughs> you.